I just got my new Marina 3 inflatable boat for three people. I guess that's why it's called three, not four. But we're going to do an unboxing. I am planning to go fishing this year. I want to go. So this is by Intel. So let's put the camera over. Okay. Everybody remember Shiva from our crazy backpacking adventure. Say hey. All right, great, great, glad you did that. All right, so yeah, this is the box. Stand next to it, Shiva, so they, they can see how big it is. It's pretty big. Oh, not next to me, get down. Come on, come on. Sit, sit down, sit. Thank you. Stay. So this is how big the box is compared to my dog. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So we're gonna open it up now. Okay, so here's what it really was like. Came up a little dented. Hopefully it doesn't affect anything. But yeah, this is it. Alright, so let's put it together. Okay, so this is everything that it comes with. It comes with this little bag. I highly doubt that we'll be able to get the thing, the um Put a little boat pack in here. I, I highly doubt it once you put it in. I mean, it's pretty big though. So, I guess I could put something else in there except for that. But there's the bowl. Then put the air pump and the floorboard. I'm going to have to add this. The floorboard's freaking heavy. I think, I don't know if this is wood or what. But whatever they said in the reviews or in the videos about how sturdy it is, that floor is probably going to be very sturdy. Um, it came with the oars. I'm not quite sure what this is. This is like the fishing rod thing. I don't really know. Uh, I guess so. Um, and then the patch right there. Hopefully you won't need that. So I'm about to use my electric pump and blow it up. I personally think that this boat is big. I mean, I, I think I had an Intex two-person boat before. Um, so this is pretty big for me i mean i'm a one person person uh, <laughs> hey get away from that this thing is a uh, just an inflatable but anyways um all right so let's go ahead and blow it up like i said i know if you think i should have probably did this in my garage I was too excited. It has this one right here too. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to do that or if I'm going to. Um, I think I almost just like kind of put air on both sides and then and then inflate that. That's what we'll do. Hey, hey! All right, so I just blowed up this middle piece gosh, right here. And I guess this is for stability on the boat for when it's in the water. I think that's pretty cool, actually. All right, so we're going to put the floor in while it's partially inflated. I'm completely out of breath. I want to say by no means was this easy. I mean, I don't even think I got it all the way in there. Because it's supposed to be tucked underneath. I don't think I tucked it. Maybe I need to put some more air in it first. All right, let's try some more air in it. All right, so actually the floor worked out really well. Um, I just kind of like started tucking it a little bit more as it was started getting inflated. So it seems pretty sturdy. Okay, well, hold on. Let me take that. Take it back. Okay. So anyways, they always say never over inflate. It also came with, where's the camera? With one of these things. So you just want to line it up to make sure that it's not over inflated, which is mine's is actually perfect. See? Oh wait, I'm moving it. But no, it's easier 
you know, my finger's not on there. So yeah, it's just perfect on both sides because it's actually only two things you have to, well, three with the floor. Um, you have to air pump up. So we also have, I, I believe, we, okay, so there's these. I'm assuming they're for our fishing poles. So I'm just gonna mosey this one in there, just slides in. That's one. And then we're gonna come over here. There's two of them, so there's one here and one here for fishing poles. All right, so, oh, and it also comes with these bags. Oops. These are, um, they just hook onto the line right there. And then they have one for the battery. Oh, oh here it is. So, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this because I have a trolling motor, but it it, it was kind of hooked up right there. So I'm gonna keep putting stuff together. Don't All right, like, so we, <laughs> we, as in my daughter and I, actually inflated the seats. And this is actually the size. It really can fit three people. It fits two people comfortably, but it really can fit three. Um, so we put the paddles together, which they do lock in, like they advertise. So now we actually have some attachments. We actually have a trolling motor and we have a canopy. So we're going to put that together. Okay, guys, this is my inner review. As you can tell, I'm out of breath again. But anyways, this is my, my, um, mount, my motor mount, I guess. And then here's my trolling motor. And then here's my battery pot. It's supposed to be waterproof, but it looks like it's gonna be pretty comfortable. Now it says it goes up to 880 pounds. So I should be fine, but I'm not gonna hold you guys. This battery pack is very heavy. This motor mount is very heavy. This trolling motor is very heavy. They, they're probably like 300 pounds to get, like just alone off of those, those three things. Um, so you definitely, want to keep that in mind because it's still an inflatable boat and it definitely goes by weight so but yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and um end this um in my state it is required to have the hall number and register the boat and you can find them on the sides all right so yeah i'm gonna give this a thumbs up i probably will make another review after i get it in the water so so far, unboxing, it seems like it will be able to do the job.